this is solid line and this is the final case. So, here this red colored line is the outside line as well as the solid line which should be make darker and restal lines these horizontal line these vertical lines should be lighter. And this cone is penetrated by a prism. So, this this cone upper portion of the cone this should be made either very much lighter or it should be trimmed out because it is not needed over here and it is a removed portion from the cone. So, this is first problem about intersection of cone and square prism and both the axis vertical. Second problem of cylinder and cone. Now, about cylinder and cone, a vertical cone base diameter 75 mm and axis 100 mm long is completely penetrated by a cylinder of 45 mm diameter. The axis of the cylinder is parallel to both the plane HP and VP and intersects axis of the cone at a point 25 mm above the base. Draw the projections showing cause of intersection. Here two cases, two solids are given that is cone and cylinder. Dimensions of both the solids are given, but the height of cylinder is not given to us. So, we can take any height of the cylinder, any convenient height. So, in this case first we draw, what should we do? First, this is the view of given case. A cone is resting on its circular base. It is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder like this and we have to draw this curve of intersection. To draw the curve of intersection in this case, first we have to draw the front view and top view of this cone. After drawing two views of this cone, we have to think about the position of this solid that is penetrating solid cylinder. The cylinder would appear circle in its side view. Hence, the third view that is side view would be needed over here to solve this problem. So, we will draw three views of this circle of this cone and then after drawing this cylinder in side view project the side view to respective front view and top view and from those two views we will identify the points of intersection between the imaginary generators drawn over the cylinder and cone. First draw x y line that represents intersection of HP and VP and top view of the cone would be a circle of diameter 75 mm and divide the circle into equal number of parts A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H 8 equal parts then draw its front view with which is a triangle having height 100 millimeter. So, we have drawn its front view and top view. Now, we have to draw its side view as well by drawing a line at an angle of 45 degree to the right side or left side of top view. After drawing this line, we will project the points from this top, top view like this horizontal line from here, vertical line from here and we can draw side view of given cone. After drawing the side view of this cone, name the points respective points say here O, O A, O B. So, O dash, A dash, O dash, B dash onwards and in side view O dash, A double dash, O dash, B double dash onwards. So, here suppose O dash, A dash is this is the generator. This generator is visible over here at the middle in side view and this O dash, A dash is visible over here in top view as a O A. This is O A is the generator. Similarly, generator O B is here, O B generator is here and here O B generator is this one. So, we have located all imaginary generators in front view and top view and side view. After locating this imaginary generator, this is apex point O dash and O double dash. Here draw a circle of diameter of the cylinder that is 45 mm. So, draw a circle of diameter 45 mm which is at a point 
25 mm above the base. So, the center of the circle would be here and the distance between the center of the circle and x y line is 28 mm because it is given that the center is 28 mm above the base. After drawing this circle above 20, 28 mm above the base, what should we do? So, find out points of intersection between these two solids that is point of intersection between circle or this cylinder and cone. Here point number 1 is on O A, point number 2 is on O B, point number 3 is on is here the end point of the circle, point number 4 is on O D, point number 5 on O E, point number 6 on O E, point number 7 to the end of the circle, 8 on O G, O double dash, G double dash. So, identified all 8 points 1 to 8 over here, then after draw its front view projecting these points over here, horizontal lines from 1, 2, 3 all these points and complete this rectangle like this you can draw here. After drawing this rectangle the dimensions of this rectangle is not given to us. So, we can take any length from this axis and it should be similar on both the sides. Suppose, in this side 50 mm on this side also we can take 50 mm. So, total length would be 100 mm and any length could be taken of the cylinder as it is not given over here. And of course, if the length is higher than the diameter of the cone, the curve of intersection would not change. Whatever is the length of the cylinder, the curve of intersection would remain like this only. But of course, if this cylinder is half is penetrating to the half portion, then this portion or this cutting section would not appear. Now, after identifying the points of intersection in side view, transfer these points to top view like this. Vertical line from 7 and 3 like this, horizontal lines and these two lines will cut this cone at two points like this and this would be the top view of this cylinder, right? Because in top view, this cylinder will appear like this, a rectangle and this would be the dia diameter of the cylinder. After drawing this top view, name the points of intersection, this is the point of intersection, this point you can see three in 3D over here, this point of intersection is this one, that is point number 1. So, mark this point as a point number 1. From this point, this is point number 2 on this, this point 2 and 8. So, here point number 2 and 8 are there, you can name it as a point number 2, then point number after identifying these points, transfer these points say O7, you can see here point number 7 is not on any generator, it is just the end point drawn on this cylinder. So, to, fi to find out this imaginary generator join O double dash to 7 like this, right. So, this is one more imaginary generator that we have drawn over the cone, transfer this point like this to its top view like this and join this point to the apex point like this. So, this is the front top view of the imaginary generator and from here draw vertical lines and this is the front view of imaginary generator. So, what we have done? We have located the imaginary generator passing through point 7 in top view as well as in front view. After drawing these imaginary generators, locate the points draw here from 7 draw horizontal line that will cut this, this imaginary generator two points. So, these are the two points of intersection name it as 3. Similarly, point number 4 is here it is on O D. So, on O D locate here point number 4. So, we have located 4 points 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is another point this bottom one point number 5 transfer this point over here. So, these are the points point number 5. So, these points have put over here in the front view and similarly, point number 6, 7 and 8 would be to the back side of the cylinder 
on here this curve is there so on the back side also the similar curve would be there so name here another points 6 7 and 8 then join all these points with a smooth curve because this is a cone and cylinder intersection so this would be the curve of intersection as it is appearing over here like this similarly join these points with a smooth curve so this is the points of intersection of given solid now after drawing this curve we should darken this portion because it is an outside line and this portion this line line from 1 to 5 this line is removed portion because in this portion nothing is there the cylinder cutting the cone so material of cone is removed from here so this line and this line should be erased out it should be made much lighter or it should be erased now this horizontal cylinder is there which is penetrating inside this cone so this edge would not be visible in a front view you can see here this edge there is an edge of the cylinder but it is inside this cone so it will not be visible so here this line should be drawn dotted line similarly this bottom edge would also not be uh, visible so this line is also drawn as dotted line so this is a front view of cylinder and cone intersection is it clear now we will think about its top view transfer all these points to the top view like this point number 5 is here so from point number 5 draw vertical line that will cut OE at this point and OA at this point like this point number 1 is on OA so from here draw vertical line like this so these are the two points similarly from point number 2 draw vertical line it is on OB so on OB it will cut at two point it is also on OH two points are there join them mark these points here point number from point number four draw vertical line it cuts OD at these two points mark these two points so this is the curve of intersection in top view this would be the shape which will appear if we look from the top side if you look from the top side this upper portion would be uh, would appear so it is drawn or joined by full line this portion is joined by full line but this portion this one this bottom one this will not be visible in top view so these points are joined with the dotted line or dotted curve so this is dotted curve this is full curve similarly points on this side this would be visible so full line or full curve and this would be dotted curve so this is the top view of given condition here this would be dotted line because the cone will not be visible over here so base of the cone will not be visible so this portion also should be dotted line this is a cylinder and in for the cylinder here in this portion the cylinder will not be visible so this line is drawn by dotted line and trim trim the remaining portion so this is the final answer of given condition so here cone cylinder intersection is there both the axes are bisecting each other at certain distance so this would be the front view and this would be the top view you can lighten rest all lines because it's needed it's not needed just the curve of intersection is needed so it is drawn full line uh, now one more example about square prism square prism example number three a square prism 30 mm base sides 70 mm axis is completely penetrated by another square prism of 25 mm sides 70 mm axis horizontally both axes bisect each other two faces of penetrating prism are 30 degree inclined to horizontal plane draw projections showing cause of intersection here square prism is given two square prisms are there dimensions of both the prisms are given to us and it is given that one prism is penetrated by another square prism and faces of penetrating prism is inclined at 30 degree to horizontal plane so what should be the case this kind this is the given case two views are shown over here 
two square prisms intersecting each other and horizontal prism is inclining at certain angle with HP that is 30 degree. So, how to solve this problem? So, first we will draw an x y line and represent the intersection of HP and VP and draw a square prism top view like this. Because all four sides makes equal angle with VP, so the square should be drawn like this. After drawing this top view, name the end points 1, 2, 3 and 4 and transfer these points to its front view. Draw a rectangle of given height that is 70 mm. So, here side length is 30 mm, height is 70 mm. Name these points 1 days, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days like this. Then to draw its side view, let me take projections from here, from top view, project these points 1, 2, 3, 4 to this line, transfer these points in the front view and from this front view transfer these points and draw its side view. So, this is the side view of given solid. So, we have drawn the given square prism of 30 mm base side and 70 mm axis. This prism is completely penetrated by another square prism of 25 mm side and 70 mm axis. So, we need to find out the position of this penetrating prism. The penetrating prism is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to HP. So, we have to draw this line such that it makes an angle of 30 degree with XY line and the axis bisects each other. So, midpoint of this axis would be somewhere here. From that point, draw a line at an angle of 30 degree and complete this square. Name the end points A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash, E double dash. Any name you can give. Here, the points of intersection are there of square and this edge that is D, C dash and F double dash. This angle is 30, 30 degree which is given in the data. Now, transfer these points A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, etc. to the front view and draw its front view. Length is given 70 mm. So, on this axis 35 mm on this side and 35 mm on this side two lines are there. So, this is front view of penetrating solid. 